to my channel so today i'm going to be filming a quick makeup tutorial um a lot of people ask me to film one so i thought why not and i am going to try and talk through it but most of it will be sped up so um yeah let's get right into it i have filmed a tutorial on this hairstyle which will be out sometime after this video I'm not quite sure when. My face is already moisturized and I moisturize with the vitamin E moisturizing day cream. I'm gonna use the Body Shop Vitamin C Skin Reviver Instant Smoother. Um, ignore the fact that I only have one hand painted. Boredom. <laughs> this self isolation has got me doing nonsense. But yeah, so I use this. Just a pump. All over my face. Um, and it literally just creates the perfect base for my makeup. I'm going to be using the Revolution eyebrow pencil. Comes with a speed at the end. I don't really fill my brows in, I just sort of do it very sparingly. Sparingly? I don't know the English. I'm just gonna brush my brows out. Bit of edge control. On my brows. I think I'm on the edge of losing us. I think I apologize enough. How many, how many times can I say sorry? How many two shots for me and a bottle for her? And that is eyebrow number one. So I don't actually pull them in completely. I literally just, where there's no hair, I sort of fill the gaps in basically. And I'm never ever completely done with my brows, so I will go back in after I have finished my makeup and still sort them out. And I'm going to be using my mum's foundation because I don't have a concealer which is my skin colour anymore. I used to use a man from NARS, but I just haven't bought it in a while, so. <laughs> Don't do it for you no more, baby. You say you never change on me. Never change, never change on me, on me, on me, on me. Never thought you run game on me, on me, on me, on me. I think I love you way more than I am. Once my eyebrows are done, I go in with my foundation. Um, and I use the Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation in the color Macau which is basically a black dot colour. <laughs> um, this one is basically finished. I have ordered a new one, but we're gonna finish this one. Thank you. So I like to use this foundation brush and I like to apply my foundation with this brush first. Oh, do for you no more, And I literally just do a dot. I don't put a lot of foundation on my forehead. Then I go in with my Zoliva Silk Finish Fluffing Brush in, I don't know, this is the number 102. I've had it for years. this brush and just work around my nose area and just blend everything in basically is next we're going to go in with some concealer so i'm going to use my Too Faced concealer i think i'm going to go i'm going to use cookie today and I don't really put any on my forehead, so I sort of, whatever's left on my brush, that's what I put on my forehead. So to blend my under eye, I'm gonna be using this Real Technique brush, and um, came in a pack as well. I, I normally use a smaller version of this brush from Zoliva, but I have got no idea where it is. And I like this brush because it just works well when I am blending it down, if that makes sense. Like the shape of the brush just works perfectly. So I just drag the concealer down. Not all the way, so I sort of stop 
I me, mean, I cool off my cheeks. Not sweaty. There we go. But yeah, I drag the concealer down to my top lip and I also don't take my concealer all the way up. I just keep it in this sort of region here. But again, that just depends on the kind of look I'm going for, but today I'm going to keep it in this region. I mean, how many times can I say sorry? I mean, it two shots for me and a bottle for her last. Cause if I told the truth, still would make it all right. It's still hard to follow words when. Right, okay, so I am still blending away. They all be said, I'm sorry, I am sorry. Say I don't make you smile. Then what I'm going I go in with my black opal stick. Gonna make you forget about the past. Say I, say I don't. Say I don't do for you no more, baby. And if you have dragged it too high, you can just go back in with your concealer brush and just make that a bit more smoother. Grab another brush and just gonna put the tiniest bit on my nose, tiniest bit on my forehead because I haven't really highlighted per se so it's just going to be a natural bronze and I'm going to put a bit on my jaw and naturally your foundation is obviously darker than your highlight so when I do highlight on my nose I already have the Contour line that my foundation is left, basically. Don't mind, make you forget about the past. Say I, say I don't. Say I don't do for you no more. Go back in with my foundation brush, with whatever is left on there, and I proceed to blend and just make sure everything blends together properly. So on top of the contour. I don't do for you no more, baby. Next, we're gonna go in with our Laura Mercier translucent to loose setting powder to set our under eye. Yeah, so make it feel very precise on your um, nose area because you don't want a messy. Next, I am going to do my eyes. I'm not going to do anything special on my eyes because I'm just going to grab my Huda Rose Gold Remastered Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to grab this colour here, Sandalwood, and just rub that all over my lid. Maybe I'll go in with Demi Demure. It's a lovely, lovely muted pink. And I'll just put that all over my lid. Now for bronzer, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty bronzer in Coco Naughty. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Two shots for me and a bottle for her last. Cause if I Once that is done, I proceed to take all translucent powder off and I go in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Tan. Tap it in and then brush away what is left. I literally just put this everywhere. On top of the bronzer. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. The brown, the brown, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Everywhere that I put foundation is cold. And I also go in with this Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Pressed Powder in the shade Caramel. And again, I just use that on top. And blend, 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 blend. So that is our base done. Our base has been done. Cool. Now, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do. so I'm gonna go back in with my brows and basically just neaten them up. Right. So now that my brows are a bit neater, now base is on. I'm gonna now go in and basically reverse contour. I'm sorry. And while that is reverse contouring, <laughs> I am going to go in and do my lips. This is my favourite part. So I'm just grabbing this old brown lip liner. Don't know where it's from. 
and just put on my lips. And then I'm going to go in with my lip liner from Anyway Academy in the colour Session, I think. It's like this brick red. Um, yeah, I'm going to use that to go on top of the brown face too. Some colour on my cheeks. I'm just going to use eyeshadow palette because I do it all the time. And I'm just gonna use that sandalwood and henna colour and mix them two and put them on my cheeks. Okay? I am going to finish my lips off. So I'm gonna grab my MAC lipstick in Honey Love. Make sure your lips are moisturised beforehand. So I swear by this text. If you don't know about this text, I don't know. Better than that karma is crap. It's better than Vaseline. Even licking your lips is better than Vaseline. Everything is better than Vaseline. And I tend to put eyeshadow on my lips. Nobody should judge me. Okay, it works for me, so I do it. Okay. So I'm gonna go in with henna again and put it on top of my honey stuff. Lip gloss from Primark. I don't know, it's from Primark. It's just a normal pinky lip gloss. And I'm just gonna put that on top. Of course, you can't just put one lip gloss on, that's boring. So, I'm going in with my Kiko in the number 20 hydrating gloss, and I'm going to put that on. Okay, so now that that is done, we're now going to grab some mascara and put it underneath my, my bottom lashes. Okay. I'm just gonna use my foundation to clean up my lips. And then yeah. Um I do not highlight anymore. So I'm just gonna put a bit more colour on that side. Yeah, I just don't. No actual reason. So the reason why I don't spray my face straight away is because I always do my mascara last and because I don't want my eyes to um, basically run. Ain't nobody got time for that after spending 45 minutes on makeup for it to be ruined by mascara. So I use the Revolution Glow Fix Illuminating Fixing Spray. I'm sorry. Say I don't make you smile. Say I don't and I've done the camera test. Yeah, and I look absolutely flawless. Oh cool. My makeup is complete. Um, makeup tutorial i really do hope you enjoyed it um if you want to see more of these do let me know and i will be more than happy to do that for you but yeah thank you guys so much for watching see you guys in my next video and um yeah man that's it basically see ya oh yeah like share subscribe all of that good stuff bye <laughs>